everybody, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. This is Dave Hubble with Hubble Real Estate Group, giving you little tips and tactics and experiences that uh, I have gone through in real estate. If you don't know, I've been in real estate. I have an 017 license, so that puts me approximately 13 to 14 years. I want to say I've experienced a little over 900 transactions, give or take, in my career. And now I own a brokerage with two offices and multiple agents and a property management company and yada, yada, yada. So there's my backstory. Um, just wanted to give you a point of reference of experiences that I've gone through to just let you know nothing scares me in real estate. And I just want to pass this information along to experienced agents and newer agents trying to grow their business on how I've handled some, some problems or hurdles that came up during my transaction. With that said, I got a fun one for you. So we went into contract, one of my agents, and uh, we're moving smoothly. We're going through the contract and we get down to about a week before closing and we go to do our final walkthrough and we find that our security system is missing. We had to pull up our contract to find out if that was or was not included or excluded from the contract. And we come to find out it was supposed to be included. So we reach out to the other agent and the other agent informs us that, oh, by the way, when we got the contract, I saw that I missed that. So I crossed it out on the contract before I sent it to escrow and removed it and sent it into escrow. And we've been operating off of that contract. I'm sure you guys are all kind of like, what? She wrote on a contract after it was executed. Um, yes. Now, what happened to that at that point? Um, unfortunately, you know, it was a newer agent. And so she did have a mentor and a and a, uh, an office manager that had to walk her through. Unfortunately, what she did was not correct. Uh, once, a, once a contract is executed, you cannot make changes to that contract. You can amend it, but uh, physically writing onto the contract to make changes without all parties' authorizations does not make it a binding agreement for that term. In this case, the alarm was included in the contract. Now, the alarm had already been removed. The agent was still adamant that what she did was fine because she put terms in the MLS that uh, allowed this to happen. Again, terms in an MLS are not contracts, they're wishes. This is what your client is wishing to be put onto a contract. They're instructions. So while a buyer's agent can write a contract, they can see what's important to the seller and include that or not include it based on how the buyer wants to present an offer. So MLS instructions are not binding contracts. At the end of the day, uh, this actually um, made the deal fall apart because the buyer and the seller were so in disagreement over this term that the buyer just chose out of principle not to move forward with the transaction and go find a different property. So you can imagine the fun of dissolving that transaction at the end, literally a couple days before, over something that ultimately um, could have, should have, and would have been resolved had we wanted to push, but the buyer just chose not to and wanted to move on. You got to understand things in real estate come up that are abnormal, that don't aren't supposed to happen. You know it deep down in your bones aren't supposed to happen. How they were handling the conflict, the how is why it fell apart. Not the problem itself. It was the backpedal and the how that their approach back to us just set my buyer uh, on a mission of like, I don't wanna do business anymore with these people. And so that you have to be careful about. It's not a right wrong thing. A lot of it has to do with the presentation and your intent and just owning up to a mistake versus trying to backpedal and get out of it. And other than that, that was a fun one, but we ended up finding another property. And again, in my world, there's always another property if things don't work out. And sure enough, the success story is we still helped our client find another house that actually worked out better for them. So there's always a reason behind it. And they found their dream home. With that said, I hope this was some value to you. Hang in there, work through it, keep the communication open with the other agent, work out conflicts, find the root of the problem and try to find a solution. Again, sometimes the solution is there is no solution and we're moving on. But at the end of the day, that is the action. So that is okay. It's okay to agree to disagree. So I hope you got some value out of this. I always have fun sharing some of these experiences. Let's tune in next week and uh, grow your business and let's go get an escrow.